In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a train set that you can control in the Blender game engine by pressing keys. The starting point for this tutorial is the end file from the previous tutorial. You can make the file yourself or download it from my website. Select the smoke domain, press X to delete it. Select the funnel, press X to delete it. Select the engine in the object menu, animation, bake action. Change the frame step to two. Tick visual keying, clear constraints, clear parents, okay. And we get a set of keyframes for the engine's location and rotation. Repeat for the other carriages. Select the carriage, object, animation, bake action. Blender has remembered the settings, just click OK. Every time that we click OK to bake the action, Blender creates an action that we can use in the Blender game engine. Now that the whole train has keyframes for location and rotation, we don't need the Bezier curve anymore. Select it and press X to delete it. Click play and the animation looks the same as before, but the animation system is different. Change the layout to game logic. Change Blender render to Blender game. Zoom back with the mouse wheel. Select the engine and add a keyboard sensor and an action actuator. Click on the key field and press one on the keyboard. Click on the action field and we see the four actions that we bait. Select the first one. It takes 120 frames to travel to the first station. Set the end frame to 120 and connect the logic bricks up. Click the white triangles to close up the logic bricks. Add a keyboard sensor and an action actuator. Click the key field and press 2 on the keyboard. Click the action field and select the first action the train travels from the second station back to base from frame 130 to frame 260 and connect the logic bricks up. In the properties window in the render settings click the start button to start the game engine. Press 1 on the keyboard and the engine travels to the first station. Press 2 on the keyboard and the engine travels back to the start. Press escape to stop the game engine. If you like this simple design, you could copy the logic bricks to the other carriages. I'm going to try another design. Delete one of the keyboard sensors and both the AND controllers. Open up the keyboard sensor and rename it key space. Click on the key field and press the spacebar. Add two expression controllers and connect them up. Drag to make the properties panel wider. Add a game property. Call the game property at start. Change the type to boolean, true or false, and set its initial value to true. Type in the expression. It is case sensitive, so if there's a capital letter in the name, it must be exactly the same in the expression. If the spacebar is pressed and the train is at the start, highlight the expression, Control and C to copy, Control and V to paste. If the spacebar is pressed and the train is not at the start, 
close out the action actuator, add two property actuators, close up the first one and move it up one, open it up and assign to the property at start the value false. As the train leaves the station it is no longer at the start. Close that up and assign to the property at start a value true. At this point the train is coming back to the start. Connect those up. Now when we start the game engine and press the spacebar the engine travels to the first station then when we press spacebar again it travels back to the start. I'm going to copy the logic bricks to the carriages. The arrows are going to be in the way. Click this button to turn the 3D manipulator widget off. Select the guards van, hold down shift and select the carriages, selecting the engine last. In the object menu, game, copy logic bricks. Select the guards van and notice that at start is red because the guards van hasn't got an at start property add game property at start change the type to boolean and set its initial value to true and do that for the other carriages I have jumped ahead and I'm finishing adding the at start property to the carriage there's one more thing we have to do in the action actuator the action stored for this carriage is action.001. Scroll down, shift and mouse wheel, and we have to change it in both action actuators. And we have to do that for the other two carriages. I have jumped ahead again. Now I only need to change the second action actuator of the last carriage, the guards van, and I need to change that to action 003. Now when I click start and press the spacebar, the first part of all four actions is played. When it stops and I press the spacebar again, the second part of all four actions is played. To play sounds, I first need to use Blender as a sound editor, open the original file and change the layout to video editing. I trimmed the same sound file for the sound of the steam engine and the sound of the whistle. Move the sound of the whistle out the way. Click, drag, click. I want the steam engine sound to last for 120 frames. Set the end frame to 120 and change the 3D view window to a properties window. Click the audio button and give the file a meaningful name and click mix down click drag click to move the engine sound select the whistle sound in the strip menu snap strips set the end frame to 80 click the audio button give the file a meaningful name and click the mix down button. Going back to the game engine, close up all the actuators, scrolling up and down, shift and mouse wheel. Add a sound actuator, click the open button, select the engine sound, scroll down and change play stop to loop end and connect that up. Close up the logic bricks, add another keyboard sensor, click the key field and press W for whistle, add another sound actuator, scroll down, click open, select the whistle and open, scroll down, change play stop to loop end and connect those up. Dragging with the middle mouse button to rotate the view. Click start and press the space bar and we get the engine sound. 
and when we press W we get the whistle. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put all the files used and the finished file for you to download at my website. Click the link or click the eye icon. If you'd like to subscribe, click the link or click the stick man. Thanks for watching and goodbye.